Hi, in this example we're going to have a look at the familiar reaction of HCl and aluminium. You've probably done this in school, where you uh, take aluminium and you add a acid to it, in this case hydrochloric acid, and it gives off hydrogen gas. Well, what you're probably not familiar with is that you're left behind with aluminium chloride, and that's what happens as part of the reaction. So let's have a go at balancing this. It's quite interesting because it's, it's not that easy to understand, and it's, you're going left to the left hand side and the right hand side all the time. So let's have a look. So let's put our arrow in. You just add up all the elements on either side. Let's see what we're dealing with. So we've got aluminium, just one, one hydrogen, one chlorine. Okay, so you've only got three elements on this side. And on this side we've got aluminium. That's that one. Stick with hydrogen so they're all in the same level. We've got two hydrogens now, so I'll write it as that. I'll write it twice, make it easy. And we've got three chlorines. One, two, three. So there's clearly an excess of elements on this side. And that's all we're trying to do, we're trying to balance the equation. It's just like a mathematical equation, we're just trying to balance it so it's, it's all the same. Because we can't create or destroy the elements. So if we ended up with three chlorines, they must have come from here somewhere. So now this is where it gets a bit interesting. In order to have three chlorines on this side, let's add, well, an extra two. So we just add them here for now, and then we'll see where they can come from. We've got three chlorines here. That's balanced, so we need to balance the real equation. So we need to add two more chlorines. The only way we can do that is by adding HCl, because that's where the chlorine's coming from. So we add... 1 HCl, that gives us 2 chlorines, 2 HCl gives us 3 chlorines. Now, when you're writing chemical equations out, instead of writing the molecule out again and again and again, what we tend to do is just, in this case, because we've got 3 of them, put a 3 at the front of the molecule. So that means we don't need to write that down, so I can delete that. So we've got 3 HCl molecules are reacting with aluminium and that will give us AlCl3 and hydrogen but, and this is the but, does the equa do the equations balance? Let's have a look again. We've got three hydrogens on this side so let's put them back in. Just get myself a red pen. We've got three extra hydrogens now because we've got three HCl molecules and there they are. But on this side, we've only got two hydrogen atoms, so we need to find an extra one. We've got the right amount of aluminium, we've got the right amount of chlorine, but we need an extra one hydrogen. So one way of doing that would be, I've just moved this plus out of the way, actually, I'll just move this to the side a little bit. Give myself a bit of room. One way of doing this would be to write, multiply that by one and a half, I just one and a half. But we don't do that. We don't write fractions of, of, of moles of compounds or fractions of elements on, on compounds. So we really need to double that up so it gives us three. So in order to balance, I mean, that, if I wrote that, that would be perfectly fine. But your examiner um, and your school teachers will want you to actually balance it off um, using whole numbers. So one way of doing that and balancing it as whole numbers is simply to multiply the whole thing by 2 in this particular case and that will give us 2 aluminiums plus 6 hydrochloric acids plus it goes to give us sorry 2 aluminium chloride plus now three hydrogens. So that's perfectly balanced now. If I just move these down a little bit. And if we if we look at this and I'll change this colour as well. Change it all to blue. Move this down a little bit as well. Okay, so all we've done, we've balanced the equation in the first instance to the top, 
using um, the method of adding all the elements up we, s we saw that we need an extra one so we needed half an extra half of a hydrogen gas molecule and that wasn't really acceptable so we we went to whole numbers and multiplied the whole lot by two and that gives us two lots of aluminium reacts with six lots of hydrochloric acid to give us two lots of aluminium chloride plus three lots of hydrogen gas and that is a totally balanced equation now and that's quite complicated and that's probably one of the most complicated ones you'll be asked to do but that is how you do it you start off with adding all the elements up that you can see on your equation then add the largest one so if you've got uh, the most chlorines in this case you need to balance that one first by doing that we could then see that the only molecule that chlorine came from was hydrochloric acid so we need to add the extra hydrogens for the hydrochloric acid because we've added three chlorines from that we could see that we were missing one of the hydrogens here just in this position here from the hydrogen gas we, could, we then balance the equation using a fraction but this isn't really an acceptable method so we had to double everything up just to balance it out giving us whole numbers and that is a balanced equation so until next time, bye for now.